exercise 1.10 belongs to do-it-yourself category, which means you have three exercises and now you can play with data on your own and check whether uh, you did properly. Uh, in the first exercise, we are supposed to create a bubble chart showing the population. We have a table. It is recommended to create a table object based on um, this worksheet and then we insert a 3D map. Country field has been de detected and we are interested in creating a bubble chart where the population will be shown as the size. You can use the flat map in here. You can close unnecessary items to make more space for, uh, for the map. And if the bubbles are still too small, you can go to layer options and increase bit the size of the bubbles to better use the map area. If you think you are done, you are wrong. Why is that? Because you need to check the mapping confidence. And uh, if you look on this uh, window, you'll see that there are some countries that have not been detected. And based on the Czech Republic example, I will show you what is the problem which is I don't see any bubble for Czech. How to solve this? We switch back to our Excel worksheet and then we look for the country and try to replace the name to guess under which name uh, this country will be in the Bing map service. For example, if we remove the brackets in here and go back once again to the map, we refresh the data and we now have corrected the Czech Republic uh, on the map. And this is the way you should now work with all of the remaining countries to check whether uh, you can correct all of them. Exercise number two is a real life scenario where we are um, going to show the average salary in Polish Zloty for 16 Polish states, but we would like to do it just using three colors, red, yellow and green. So what do we do? First, you would probably start creating a table and then we would insert a 3D map. We can add a new tool here to not to mix um, the exercises. And you will see that we have the state, which can be visualized as a region, which is the field map. You can use the flat map and look on the map uh, from top. And then the easiest way to visualize the data is to use the value shelf. The problem is that when you go to the coloring options, you just have one color and you cannot change the colors uh, since uh, this uh, coloring mechanism is uh, very, very poor in here. What can you do? You can go back to the data source. Then we can create a column which in the source table will distinguish between red, yellow and green. We can use, for example, a simple if formula if the average salary is less than 4000, then let's call it red. Inside you can insert another fo if formula if our average salary is less than 5000, then this would be yellow. Otherwise, we have a green color. We close all of the brackets and you can see we have yellow, which is uh, correct. And we can expand this formula to the whole column to see the status of all the information on, uh, on the map. Now, since the category is assigned already, we can go back to the map, refresh the data. And now we can use the category shelf to assign the category. Uh, the one thing that will not be correct at the moment are colors, but since we added the colors in here uh, under the name of the category, we can quickly change it to something that will fit our scenario. And this is how we create green, green uh, yellow and red um, map. 
this kind of map would require from us creating another legend uh, to indicate the, um, the category levels, uh, but still uh, we reached something that before was impossible. Last two exercises are about creating two separate maps, but on the same data source. So we can go to the uh, worksheet number three and insert a 3D map. We can again create a new tour and start working with uh, the data. The data is stored in table one in my uh, scenario and uh, we will work on the country level so we can close all of the other fields that describe the location and once again we are supposed to compare sales and profit for each of the countries and these two measures may end up on the high uh, shelf so if you start adding here more measures you will see that some of sales and some of profit uh, are excluding using the category shelf but it allows you to create a clustered column chart and analyze uh, the data for different measures uh, just upon a condition they share exactly the same axis and the second part we need to create a new scene and then use and use once again the country as the location and this time we will create two layers on the first layer we would like to show the profit so we go uh, for a, a field map or horoflet map uh, called in here region and we can use uh, the flat map uh, in here just to easier to navigate to to the countries and then we can create also another layer this will be layer that will be placed on top where we will use the bubble chart and once again based on the country we will show this time our sum of sales but divided by category both of the legends are necessary to analyze later the data so you can keep them somewhere on the left and you can also work a bit with your map, for example, to increase the size of the bubbles. You can even rename the map layer names like profit and the second layer is called sales by category. And when you are working with the layers, you can always turn on and off some of them uh, just to make it easier for you to prepare the map.